orchestrating a DDoS mitigation with an upstream provider using Arbor Sightline signaling. Before we begin, let's look at a common scenario where Sightline signaling would be used between two separate environments. In this diagram, we have a customer who could be a large enterprise or another ISP who uses Sightline but does not have a TMS for DDoS mitigation and a provider which represents the upstream internet service provider. The green line represents bidirectional traffic between various users and services and the internet. The red line represents a focused DDoS attack against one of the services. Initially, the attack is seen within Arbor Sightline at the knock or sock of the customer. The person reviewing the attack then uses Sightline signaling to the upstream provider Sightline, informing them of the attack. The provider receives the attack alert and then initiates a mitigation of the attack traffic for the customer. The DDoS attack is now blocked by the upstream provider while still allowing all regular internet traffic to flow. Let's get started. On the main Sightline page, we can see general traffic statistics and attack alerts. We can use this page to briefly look at peacetime traffic versus traffic spikes, as well as get a quick summary of open alerts and attacks. On the right side in the alert listing section, we can see there is an ongoing alert. We can already see that Sightline has identified the traffic as a DNS amplification attack. Let's start by clicking on the alert ID to determine if the alert is an actual attack. The link opens to the alert summary tab. On this page, we examine the alert data to qualify the traffic as anomalous or malicious. Let's dive deeper into the alert. On the summary tab, take note of the following. The key information section is general high-level data about the alert. This section helps us to quickly understand the alert and answer the questions. What kind of attack is it? How big is it? Where is it targeted? Is the attack incoming or outgoing? Misuse types shows a graphical representation of the alert traffic. We can see that the traffic is made up almost entirely of DNS amplification. This customer sightline environment does not have a TMS, so it must rely on sightline signaling to communicate this alert upstream to the provider for mitigation. To start the mitigation process, click on Mitigate Alert and select Sightline Signaling. Then select the mitigation provider, include any messages, and click Send Request. The alert has now been sent to the upstream provider for mitigation or deeper inspection. Now let's switch over to the provider side and check to see if there are any new Sightline signaling alerts. We'll do this by navigating to Alerts, All Alerts. Here we can see the Sightline signaling request coming from our customer. Let's click on the Alert ID. This opens the Alert Summary tab. Here we can see the traffic misuse or attack types and the target. We also see the requester, our customer, and the target of the attack. We'll start by selecting Mitigate Alert and clicking on Threat Management. We can see some fields are pre-populated automatically. Let's click Save and start mitigation. TIMS countermeasures will start to mitigate the attack. You will see the volume BPS slash PPS being mitigated by each countermeasure. Let's go back to the alert by clicking on the alert ID in the summary section. This brings us to the summary tab on the alert page. Under drop traffic, we can see that TMS is now mitigating the attack. Lastly, let's go back to the customer site line and review the alert. Here we can see the attack traffic has been successfully mitigated by the upstream provider. Thanks for watching this short demonstration of how NetScout's Arbor Sightline and Sightline signaling can be used to automatically detect a DDoS attack and notify the upstream provider to intelligently orchestrate mitigation. For over 20 years, the majority of the world's ISPs and large enterprises have relied upon NetScout's Arbor DDoS protection products and global DDoS threat intelligence to protect the availability of their networks and services.